ovulation is essential for life, as most living things require an internal pH at or near neutral pH, or pH 7, in order to survive. This is because many cellular processes can be disrupted if the pH balance varies even slightly. So what does it mean when we say a solution is neutral, so neither acidic or basic? Because the solution's pH is the measure of the relative proportion of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions, a neutral pH is achieved when there are equal quantities of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ions in the solution. pH is represented as a number generally ranging from 0, if the solution is very acidic, to 14, if the solution is very basic. Specifically, pH refers to the proportion of hydrogen ions or hydronium ions, which are acidic, to hydroxide ions, which are basic. The pH value of a solution can be determined if the concentration of hydronium ions is known, using the equation pH equals negative log times the concentration of hydronium ions. Because the pH scale is a logarithmic scale, a change in the scale of one pH unit indicates that hydrogen ion activity differs by an order of 10. So for example, hydrogen ion activity at pH 4 is 10 times greater than at pH 5. Maintaining the correct pH is so important for life that different systems have evolved within organisms to help maintain the optimal pH for the organism. In order to maintain a certain internal pH range, organisms use buffers, which resist changes in pH. Every buffer is an aqueous solution containing a weak acid and its conjugate weak base, or a weak base and its conjugate weak acid. The way buffers work is governed by rules known as the Bronsted-Lowry theory. The weak acid A is shown on the left side of a reversible equation with the hydrogen ion attached and the weak base B is shown alone. The weak acid transfers its hydrogen ion to the base, resulting in a conjugate base. The base which accepted the hydrogen ion from the weak acid now becomes a conjugate acid. So to recap, a buffer is a solution consisting of a weak acid and its conjugate base, or vice versa, that resists changes in pH. The titration curve demonstrates how little the pH changes as acid or base is added to a buffer solution. The points where the slope changes are known as inflection points. It is the area between these points that is the solution's buffer region. In this region, large additions of acid or base result in small changes in pH. And this can be explained by the Bronsted-Lowry equation. So many weak acids and bases in the solution acting as donors and recipients of hydrogen ions.